Hey y'all, it's your girl Mika J and I just wanted to share some tips with you on how to take a vacation for the low. So a few months ago, Papa Smurf and I went to Florida, basically paid $50 per person to go. We was gone for like five days. So we booked through Frontier Airlines. It was like $15 one way, then $35 the other way. So, so you know, with airlines like that, like Frontier, Allegiant, Spirit, um, I can't think of any other like cheaper airlines. But most of those airlines, they charge you for every, they nickel and dime you for everything else. Like the carrier bag on. I mean, you all, you always gonna have to pay for a check-in bag unless you fly Southwest. So we booked with Frontier. So we packed our backpacks. We stuffed our backpacks with as much as we could. I used like these little packing cubes because it was still warm outside. So I remember packing like a bunch of shorts and t-shirts, flip-flops, one pair of sneakers, stuff like that. And if it was anything else that I needed, I would just bought once I got there. So we stuffed our backpacks and then that was considered our personal. So you're supposed to put your personal underneath the seat it's supposed to fit underneath the seat. What you think we did once we got on that plane? Hell no. We stuffed our shit in that overhead too like everybody else. There ain't no. So that's what we did. I'm not recommending y'all do that. I'm just telling you what worked for us. So, and you also can carry like up to like four or five little alcohol shooters with you on the plane too. So carry on like these too. Okay, these are good to have. Then you're not supposed to drink them on the plane because you can get fined up to a thousand dollars if you get caught. But um, I carry those. I always carry those in case we can't get to a liquor store right away. Like one time we flew to Charlotte, and a lot of places in the South they don't serve alcohol. They, can, they don't sell alcohol on Sundays, and then after like a certain time. I remember we had got to Charlotte like after nine o'clock, and all the liquor stores were closed down there. You had to buy your liquor from the ABC store. And so the liquor stores were closed. And so, you know, he was basically just tripping. Like, you buy beer and wine, but he wanted some vodka. So he couldn't get the vodka until Monday. So just imagine, you know, so how much you spent sitting in hotel lobbies, you know, trying to get lit. But anyway, so I just always learned to carry something like that in case something like that ever happens again. But anyway, I know it sounds like, sound like some real alcoholic shit, but, hey, it is what it is. But... So, when we got to Florida, we flew to Jacksonville, when we got to Florida, what we did was we got like an extended stay. It wasn't an extended stay. It was like a uh, like a Candlewood Suites or something like that. So, it's basically the same type of setup. You know, you got the little kitchen, like a little, little studio apartment. And so, we when we first got there, we ran the car. So, we went to the grocery store first grocery store then the liquor store so when we went to the grocery store we bought like a lot of breakfast foods and then we bought like snacks juice you know little stuff like that and so then we went to the liquor store bought what we needed for you know the five days that we were going to be there and we saved a lot of money actually on meals because i had a lot of breakfast food and so like we would sleep in so we would get up. So by the time I started cooking breakfast, it pretty much was brunch. So, you know, you eat brunch. And I was making pretty hearty meals, bacon, eggs, toast, you know, cheese, all that type of stuff. You know, the meal would carry us pretty much a good portion of the day. So then when we would eat again, it'd be like dinner. And like a lot of that consisted of fast food. I think we fine dine one time and then everything else is pretty much on the go. So we save money that way, too. And then, so we pretty much only paid for like one meal a day. And then we also had snacks at the room too. So if we wanted something to munch on later on. And then I also brought my fire stick too. We had internet and all that. So we watched some movies, watched some games, had the NFL ticket on the fire stick. So he was able to watch some of his games. And I watched, I'm trying to think what was that movie that was out during that time when we was in Florida. White Boy Rick. I watched that on my fire stick. And there was a couple other movies I watched too, but I remember that one, that particular one. So we did that. 
And then the hotel also offered free laundry service to the residents. So that was sweet. You just had to buy your detergent and stuff. And so the day before we left, I did our laundry. So basically we came back home with clean clothes. <laughs> you know, so I had to do a laundry when we came back. So that was sweet. And when we were there, we we went to Dave and Buster's a few times. And then um, we went to the game, went to the Jaguars and the Titans game while we were there. And then we purchased some Jaguar t-shirts. We're not Jaguar fans or anything, but what we like to do is anytime we come to your city and if we come to a check out a sporting event, we always buy some type of memorabilia, you know, some type of t-shirt, something, you know, just, you know, hey, we were there, just blend in with the crowd. So, yeah, so that flight for $50 per person, and I think the hotel, I paid for five days, I think the hotel was probably like, you know, it was a few hundred dollars. So, and then the car was a couple hundred dollars. So, basically, we just spent m more money on the hotel and the car than the flight. So, you know, it's cool. So, just check out, you know, just sign up. Go to the Frontier website. Just sign up to start getting emails and stuff. Then they'll start sending you stuff when you can get, take advantage of those cheap flights. And we did that, too, with Allegiant Airlines, too. We took a couple vacations with Allegiant. We went to New Orleans. I think when we went to New Orleans... And Myrtle Beach, we paid like a hundred dollars per person for a round trip ticket. But of course, they but you know with Allegiant, we got free baggage because Papa Smurf is a veteran, and like all veterans in active military get free baggage. Yes, yeah, somebody had told me that, so yes, yeah, so I'm just sharing that with y'all. So that's how we took a vacation for the low. We was gone to Florida five days, and we probably spent for two people probably six hundred dollars so that's not bad and that was like the hotel and the car so that's it that's all and then i'm trying to think what else did i do while i was there i went shopping i did go to the little st john's town center and went to a few little stores over there you know but that's it pretty much so just want to share with you it can be done you can take advantage of a cheap flight you just have to you know check out airlines and you know so Thank you for tuning in. It's your girl, Mika J. Holler.